My name's Foy Vance. I'm a singer-songwriter from Northern Ireland, and I've toured all over the world, but there's one place where the music keeps pulling me back for more, the USA. So I'm on a journey to visit different cities across the country to experience the best music, food, and culture that's on offer. This is Notes from the USA. Today, I'm in Atlanta, Georgia, a city famed for its world-class restaurants, festive nightlife, thriving hip-hop scene, and prominent role in America's civil rights movement. Atlanta is one of the fastest growing cities in the US, thanks in part to its art, film, and music industries. So I've come to investigate just why this city has such a strong creative influence. My first stop is at Big Bethel AME Church, a notable venue in Atlanta for gospel music performances a style of Christian music that is both inspired and drawn from popular music. After the service, I catch up with Minister of Music at the church, Nate Fisher. That was a great service. It was? Yeah. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I, I did as well. You know, we sang from the, our, the sole of our feet to our abdomen. <laughs> Here in Atlanta, it's thriving. Yeah, I think it's been the rock bed of so many, and most of the music that I love anyway. We can find that in any genre of music, country, R&B, Mama's Kitchen, to the backyard. Most artists that we know are, are, are popular, our favorite artists, they start their beginning here in the church. Church here has impacted the entire world. If you think of MLK. Or John Lewis, I saw a huge uh, John yeah, Lewis. Yeah, Samiro, right here. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. right by there too. Super awesome. The civil rights movement, the march, um, was led by music. As a matter of fact, Dr. King, many of his meetings were in the basement of this church. So it doesn't matter where you go in Atlanta, uh, you're going to find a church that's, that's going to serve you good music. 85% of that service is music from the top to the bottom. And it doesn't matter what religion or what, what um, denomination it is because if it's from the heart, it's going to reach the heart. It was amazing to hear from Nate about the storied history of the church. And afterwards, as I walked the colorful streets of Atlanta, I couldn't help but feel energized understanding more about the musical heritage of this city. After a quick bite to eat along the way, I make it to my next stop, the Trap Museum, one of Atlanta's newest experiences that is entirely dedicated to this city's latest musical export, trap music. I catch up with museum manager CJ Williams to learn more. Where exactly are we, tell me? We are at Atlanta's own Trap Music Museum, the only one of its kind, documenting the art, the culture, and the music of the trap sound. I feel like I only heard the term about 10 years ago, but it's been around since the 90s or something. The term trap music is first coined on record by T.I. on his album, Trap Music. That was 2003. Um, trap music is, of course, a subgenre of hip hop, and it basically tells the stories of what a trap is being an area where you're going to have to hustle, grind, and survive. So when people hear the term trap music, it's really telling a story of our experiences and how we've used art and music to elevate not only our state of mind, but our uh, state of life. This is one of our most recognizable exhibits. This car is from the house on Howe Mill Road used to promote 2 Chainz's 2017 album, Pretty Girls Like Trap Music, uh, which featured other Atlanta native artists like Gucci Mane and Migos. This whole exhibit was set up with a big pink house. We can see a photo here, and it was used to promote that album. We are in Granny's room. Uh, what's the upside of trap music, the hope in it? The idea that no matter where I'm from, I can take this music, this sound, this message, this story that is my story, somehow, some way, putting it on top of a trap. It doesn't matter from where you begin, what matters is where you see yourself. That's really what the Trap Music Museum represents, giving our customers an opportunity to hear those stories that lie under the music. 
you have some of the biggest names in music that are from Atlanta. So we've got Migos, we've got Two Chains, we've got Future, Gucci, Jeezy, Lil Baby, you know, the list goes on. If you love music, Atlanta is definitely a place to come. If you love creativity, if you love a vibrant city, if you love art, Atlanta is one of the best places to come to in the United States. The South got something to say. A visit to the Trap Museum is a great way to really get under the skin of the genre. And though I've only been in Atlanta for a short amount of time, it's clear to see that creativity in all its forms can be found everywhere here. To learn more about it, I head to Foodies Paradise Ponce City Market to meet with Nicole Gustin, founder of Bite Line Tours, a tour service that offers visitors a fun way to explore Atlanta's burgeoning restaurant and street art scenes. So this is the Atlanta Beltline. This is a walking, biking, jogging trail. It used to be a railroad right, that ran through Atlanta. So when it's finished, it will form 22 miles around the city. Wow, 22 miles. Yeah, it's phenomenal for this city. Wow, so it'll be a circle around the city yeah, and you can be walking a loop. You will literally be able to walk or bike or scooter your entire way around the city through all 46 neighborhoods. It's unheard of. When we walked out of here, we saw that community art space. Yeah. And then when we got to the door, there's someone doing a podcast, a live yeah. podcast, and people get like, is that, is that something that happens here a lot? So the Beltline brings out everybody. So you have street artists, you have um, performers, musicians. Sometimes you'll see somebody playing a violin. Sometimes there's this guy named Kermit who plays the drums on the Beltline. I love it. Yeah. Any gigs in the city? Yeah, exactly. It's kind of like a testing ground for artists. And it's a nice way to see the city, to see all this great street art and to really get a sense of Atlanta. But this is where you see how Atlanta really is. With its musical heritage and abundance of attractions and events, it's no wonder that Atlanta is known as one of the centers for entertainment in the American South. It feels like even the streets themselves are a stage for artists and musicians. There's creativity on every corner in this city. And with the Beltline making everything so accessible, the buzz of Atlanta is easier to explore than ever before.